The ring of death. This ring falls on... See, I think they did a brilliant job with this headlight, with this uh, halo effect, this halo around. The it's almost 40 degrees. Taking the bike, and we're going to our friends at Tour Custom Cycles. We're gonna do some really cool upgrades. As always, heated gear, but only on top, because it's a short ride. So only my jacket and my gloves, lower body's gonna suffer. shield is tall enough it's the medium size but it's good enough that I don't get cold air on my face I'm going 40 40 miles an hour and there's no uh, wind on my face and I can see it look above it look over it I'm 510 just got the tour custom cycles at Gracie place in uh, Hackensack there we're gonna be doing the install now <laughs> Look what we got for you today. A surprise right here in the box from Advan Black. After visiting Advan Black out in California, which I had a video about that, I was introduced to all their items that they had and everything I was like, what do you want, Sandy? I said, I want this, I want that, I want that, and I want that. A few weeks after that, I got my color matched interfering. And that's what we're gonna be installing today. Let's inspect. That's I think uh, if you don't, if I didn't have the Rockford Fosgate, I would be using this because it's shirt. color color okay. matched. Nice, huh? Nice. How's the clips? I wonder. If... Oh, we got clips. And vents. And vents. So yeah. it's uh, ready to go, huh? Perfect. And mount. And the metal and mount. mount. What a very nice. Wait, maybe. Yeah. It's a really nice product. Right. Yeah. Do we need this mount? I'm not sure. Maybe this. Uh, we'll, well see. Well, I can leave. I no, can no. Leave I mean, the if, the, if this fits, if this fits my bike, then obviously we it use will. it. Yeah, it will. But what I'm saying is, I don't have to disassemble that bike as much as we think. Right. Because everything from Avant Black is That's attached. Cool. It's a really nice product. Yeah. Very nice. And people are like sometimes concerned about the plastics. Yeah. Nah, they're good. It's not an Amazon. Uh, not an Amazon product. It's actually pretty good. And yeah, I got it for free. Yeah. What are we gonna do? Uh, first thing we're gonna do is pull the uh, windshield, pull the front fairing part of it off, expose the inner fairing. Yeah. We're gonna have to then um, remove the Rockford system. And oh, then, okay, right. Right, and then the inner fairing is just bolted up to a bracket okay. uh, on the inside here. We're gonna off of the frame. Okay, so pull it off. There's little clips and things like that that we're gonna have to transfer over. Okay, sure. no problem. We'll it's actually an easy job. Everybody can do this at home. I could do yeah. it. I just want to come and have your help with it. So. And in a nice warm shop. Exactly. Nice lights. And it's better <laughs> off you doing the wrenching than me. That's, that's fine by me. And just it, it hits the right spot for me because I can see over it and it actually gives me good wind protection at higher speeds. Other like other competitors, they have either too tall or too short. Right. And these guys they give a variety of uh, of heights. You know uh Advan Black what I got, these little uh, winglets, mm -hmm. they actually have it that color color match. So you'll see it, you'll see it uh, later on. And the cover made for a touring bike, so it's a little 
Yeah, a little large, but it still protects. The Rockford? No, not yet. Oh, we didn't get that one either. Yeah, we'll get that one inside. You see that headlight, the OEM? Mm -hmm. Actually, I got uh, from Advent Black, I also got their, their version, their model for the ST. Okay. So we'll, we're gonna install it just to see what it looks like. Mm -hmm. I, I'm very happy with what this, the original, I think it looks great. It's got everything around it, but we'll install the Advan Black to see what it looks like and okay. then I'll decide. Yeah. It's, yeah, we'll take a decision then. Okay, just take, took the two bottom ones out, and yeah. then they just pull out with these four, with yep. these four, uh, oh, we're missing the other one. It, it's down there somewhere. It's probably inside the okay. Rockford, right. so. Oh yeah, okay. We'll just transfer it back. Uh, now we're replacing this. So in our case, it's just gonna be so, these four bolts and all the wirings. Yeah, so. We'll just go in here, pop that, pop this. Actually, these bolts do. Oh, right. So if you have, these tools are great. The little door panel tools, pop yep. the wiring. It doesn't damage it, so you can just pop them right back right. in. Some people use like pliers or this gets in there, pops right out. Works very well. I use it all over the Harleys on everything, even during motor work, getting all the harnesses off for the engine. Way less parts than on a touring bike. <laughs> yeah, no audio, no nothing. Everything is just like a. A wind protection ferry, not a storage for all your stereo system and turn signal lights and everything. Every possible garbage. Yeah, I'm not selling it. I'm keeping it. Don't even bother. Shit, I'll buy that one off you. <laughs> Mine's broken. <laughs> Looks kind of naked, huh? It's a lowrider S. <laughs> there you go, exactly. Just change the bracket, put a different, different headlight on it. Standard procedure, huh? Yep. Cleaning up. Cleaning up the Loctite. See all that coming off? Yeah. That's all the old Loctite from the factory. So you always clean your bolt, man. Clean all the Loctite off. And then we put new Loctite on. Now clean it up. Yep. Break all old Loctite out. Right, pretty much. Yeah. It's a tap. Just have people accuse me of destroying your bolts here. Right here. And clean. Now you'll see the screws just flow in with no no You know who that blue Loctite is for? It's for you guys. Because otherwise you're gonna kill us. Let's see how the fitment is. Hang right there. Smooth that bolt Ooh, went in. Just went in, huh? Smooth as butter. And tighten it later, huh? I'm gonna, well, I'll hit it with the gun, but I wanna make sure that the threading is there. We're aligned also because there is a bit of a slot, a tiny bit of a Yeah, slot mis here. misalignment, right? Yeah, so I wanna make sure that we're straight. And we have to get the side ones. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, we're good. 
So you know, I usually wind up doing with just cracking them a little. And then the side ones, there we go. These guys right here. Now the hardware part is, part is done. Uh, we're gonna go to the electrical connectors. All the, all the wiring pretty much. Oh yeah, they even positioned the proper anchoring points. Let's put them off because we're gonna... Yeah, I was just, I wanted to... Get this all in position so I don't know where you're going to cut the video. And then get up here. Right, now all wirings are back in place. Turn signals. System, stereo stuff. So this is the panel. The panel that replaces the Rockford Fosgate. The color matched over here. We're going to try and put the Rockford Fosgate in. Rockford Fosgate back on. Their system actually comes, the, the fairing comes with everything ready. These clips, these clamps, everything is ready to go. This just goes, slides in. It should just snap. Snap in right there. If I'm not lined up, I can't. I'll let you know. Wait a minute. I can't. Now you are. Okay, got the system, the Rockford Fosgate on. All the electronics, wires, components are in. We used our own clips, like I said before. And uh, the fitment is not ideal. Let's put it that way. It's not as it was before with uh, the, uh, the panel that I just showed you. As you can see, we can, there's, you can see a gap over here. We tried playing with the clips, without the clips. We tried uh, releasing bolts down to the bottom, you know, to flex, to flex the interfering a little bit. We tried everything. We just couldn't get that gap down. So I'm gonna actually contact uh, Advan Black and ask them, maybe my, my fairing is somewhat slightly warped or something. I'm gonna run it a few days, give it a while. Maybe, you know, the movement is gonna uh, help it close down. I'll let you know in a few weeks how it's uh, holding, how it's connecting. For now, the way it looks, it's because the black um, in the contrast with the gray, so you, it, it pulls the eye. The eye looks and looks at that area before it was black on black or with the gray on gray that I had before. The eye wasn't being uh, drawn to it. Now you can, you literally look at it and you see a gap that I'm not happy with. It's a, a gap too big in my opinion. Again, I'm gonna contact Advan Black and see if they had any issues with other, with other installs and I'll update you. But for now, this is kind of, I don't want to say pissing me off, but it, my eye is drawn to it. You know, I'm not really a perfectionist, but when you know something is not 100%, it's only 98% good, you always look at that, and that, that pulls your eye. So that's where we stand right now. Uh, let's put the outer fairing on. Just an update. It's a week since the install. I contacted Dan Van Black, and uh, they're aware. Yes, they they said uh, I'm not the only one that had that issue. Apparently, uh, it's the metal bracket that holds the design of it. How much it pulls that plastic interfering that creates that that curve. They already addressed it, and it's already being fixed. If you decide to get that, you just know that it's been uh, fixed already at this stage. Update number two. Thanks to you guys, I'm getting a lot, a lot of comments. Thank you very much. But just know that because of so much 
work, uh, comments, and a busy schedule. I can't go over all the comments. That's why I use this filter. I go to my comments, I, I tick off. If you're subscribed to me, if you subscribe to me, I actually see your comments. Those are the people I reply to. Whoever is not subscribed, thank you for uh, commenting anyway, but I can't really get, I don't have time to see all your comments. So please subscribe to the channel, help me grow. That's it, let's go back to fairing, out of fairing on. Top fitment's pretty good. You know what? It is flexing flexing a little bit. A little bit? Okay. You know the main thing is that it's now it's dark, so you don't you actually don't see that gap. You know what? L look at it, you'll see it in a second. You don't see the Yeah, you don't see it as much. It's because uh, it was exposed. I think I mean it's regardless it's still there. You know what I mean? Yeah. But... It's not a tight fit, but it's a fit. That's a nice fit. That's a very nice fit, actually. That's a very nice fit. Yeah, and once we do the bottom ones, it'll pull together. Okay, I'm gonna turn the bars. Go ahead. Uh, use no, the socks, I have a set of screws, but we're gonna use ours, right? Yeah. Look, they give these color matched fins, like deflectors. Not yet. Yeah, wow, that's nice. That is nice, Mike. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That is nice, huh? Yep. Got it? Everything else fitment-wise has been pretty good. You know? The, yeah, we'll see the, all the other holes. Once it's button, uh, buttoned up at the top, we'll look at it again. And the oh, not nice. Very nice. They're lining up. Lining up. Very nice. Here too. Yeah, it's a nice the fit. line's nice fit, huh? Yep. You know what? It's actually not bad. And no, not it bad. Sounds, it did it's, pull it together a little bit. It did. It's not. It's, it's still there, but it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. You know what it was before? Is before there was the outer fairing wasn't there, so we were getting sunlight through. Now it's dark. You don't really see this. Yeah. Once so the windshield goes on. Oh man, that's nice. Once we have it uh, finished and buttoned and completely and buttoned up. We'll look at it again. Right. Okay, like uh, done with uh, the done with the outer fairing. Now we're gonna swap the headlight. I also got from Advan Black a lamp. Let me show you the headlight. I have it. Do we have it here? No. Oh, here it is. The headlight is right here. Now, I absolutely don't need a headlight. I'm happy. I actually really love the stock OEM headlight, the way it's designed, the way it, uh, the amount of light it uh, shoots out. But I got this from them. I'm going to put it out so you guys can see. It's mainly made for people that do not have a fairing and they need to retrofit uh, the ST fairing by Advan Black. And they need a, a lamp, a light, a five and a half inch light. So this is going to be the light that we're going to be using for ad for this uh, setup. And I'm going to install it. We're going to run it a few, a few days, a few days, and see what it looks like. And then I'll decide if I'm keeping this or putting back the OEM. Like I said, if you have an ST, I think the ST OEM. Headlight is beautiful, it's great, it's functional, it's everything. You don't need this. This is mainly for, uh, for people that have the, any other model that needs uh, a five and a half inch headlight to go with the Advan Black fairing. So let's install this. There we go. See, I think they did a brilliant job with this headlight, with this uh, halo effect, this halo around. The ring is really nice. It's bright, it's strong. Hard to compete with that, really hard.
need to remove this bezel. I think Adnan Black actually sells their own bezel that goes with this to fit the fairing, their fairing. Yeah, they do. They have to. They're absolutely, they're a plug and play company. So. Yeah, they have to because if you're putting this on a bike that wasn't an Yeah, SC, yeah, of course, of course, obviously, yeah. Make sure to use the provided screws because this is a metric screw. Well, I'm sorry. No, it's not a metric. It's not metric, it's but not, it's a different just, size. The thread is a slightly off. The Slight, thread a different, is, different, uh, slightly th off, different thread. Pitch. Different thread. So make sure to use the provided bolts that they give you that Avon Black includes in this, in this package. Okay. We might be doing something wrong, but uh, we're using their, their bolts and their washer and it's bottomed out, it's all the way in. It's all the way in and it's it's wiggling. So we're trying to figure out if they didn't provide the, the right washer. Uh, we need a thicker washer or a shorter bolt. We'll let you know in a second. We doubled up two washers, two thicker washers to accommodate this a bit too long bolt. Is it? That's it. Good. Simply doubled up on a Thicker washer. Get the right plug. Yep. Yeah. We'll give it a test before let we. Me, let, yeah. Let's see. It's bright. Oh, it's nice. It's bright. It also nice. Did I have uh, that one? I don't remember. No, that doesn't light on the Harley. It doesn't. Just a halo. Well, it's the same design kind of. Mm -hmm. That is nice. I'm gonna let you put the ring back on because I don't want to get a call later that says, "Hey, my ring fell off." Like every other Harley. Oh, listen, I go to I call Harley up, fourteen dollar item. They give it for free. It's part of the warranty. Bad design. Okay, cool. let's put the ring on. The ring of death. This ring falls on every ST. This is what I did. I just put a small piece of three M double sided three M tape. And that gives more friction, and that's about it. Makes the fit a little tighter. This is what it looks like after. How about that? Color matched. I have a very small problem with it's not a hundred percent fit over here I'd say 95% a slight a bigger gap than I would want but you know what it's actually pretty nice very cool and when you're from this position you don't see it because it blends right in only if I nitpick and look very far up close there's that gap over here on the left side and on the right side is much better. I'll look at it again in a week or two, see if uh, that gap closed a little bit. Maybe it's just the bend, it's just uh, the material needs to work a little bit. But otherwise, look at this, look at this finish. The fitment is beautiful, beautiful. That's really nice. Very happy with this. Beautiful color match as well. The gunship gray outer and inner fairing look great. These fins are a nice, nice little touch. Thank you so much, Advan Black. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Inner fairing, amazing. Thanks to Mike from Tour Custom Cycles. Buddy, where can uh, people find you? Uh, you can find us on Instagram, torque underscore custom underscore cycles. We are at 221. Gracie Place in Hackensack, New Jersey. If you find us on Instagram or Facebook, you can contact us through there or our phone number 201 880 6440.
obviously we, I did my cam over here, my stage two. You did do way more than that. I've seen the stage four over here, that the whole build, everything. Yeah, yeah, this is a stage four on the lift, that fast Johnny right there. Right. Um, bike that's on the dyno right now being tuned. Yeah, you have a dyno tune. I'm gonna be doing my, uh, oh, I, I'm not supposed to assume, but very, uh, very soon something big is gonna happen over here. Different. Uh, stay tuned for that. Thank you so much, buddy. No problem. Anytime. Hope you enjoy this. There's a link down by description. Advan Black, you know them. Thanks to Advan Black. Thank you to Tor Custom Cycles. Mike, thank you so much. I'm Sandy. That's it guys, I'm home. This is the interfering. What do you say about that? I like that interfering. Very cool. Very cool. Mr. Pico, how you doing buddy? How you doing buddy? Hey, what's up? What's up buddy?